we weren't even just doing it at raves. We were doing it like at clubs and not even clubs, bars. We were doing it at bars like every weekend. I started getting like suicidal thoughts, which is something I never dealt with. And I even used to think people that dealt with suicide, it was like weird because I had no understanding about mental health. And until I went through this, I understood like, oh dang, like people really deal with this, like it's real. And I'm for sure going back to that place where I'm checking my heart constantly because if you go long enough without checking your heart, like you won't even know that your heart's not pure. Hi guys, so right now I am going to get ready to go film a podcast and you guys should definitely check it out. Um, I don't know if it'll be out by the time that this video is out, but I'll for sure link the channel below that's going to post it. <clears throat> it's called Using My Story and I'm basically going to just share my testimony and my experiences with drugs and how I was able to <clears throat> overcome that i have this really annoying cough and i don't have a fever and i don't have anything it's just like a, a cough so you guys asking my ask me my skincare routine um i usually actually use a cerave but i ran out and i found this in my drawer i didn't even know i had this it's cetaphil which is also good it's not a bad Right, so I'll put some lotion on. This is usually what I use, but I'm all out. This thing is really good. It's the <coughs> Skin Therapy Oil by Palmer's. I just feel dry lately. It's been cold here. My hands feel dry, my face. Just been feeling dry, so that's not fun. Did any of you guys struggle with drugs? That's what I want to know. And what drugs did you struggle with? Like, what did God restore you from? Because I've heard some pretty crazy stories. I wasn't into like heroin or anything of that level of addiction. Um, but I was involved with like opiates, like molly, ecstasy, um, and then cocaine as well. Those are like my three drugs that I used to gravitate towards. And yeah, I wasn't like a crazy user, but... Um, I did use and it kind of became a normal thing. I remember right before COVID hit, like, we weren't even just doing it at raves. We were doing it, like, at clubs and not even clubs, bars. We were doing it at bars, like, every weekend. Okay, guys, all I need is lipstick and I'm good to go. Who is happily eating right now? You are such a blessed kitty. All right, let's make some coffee. My lighting, this light here, oh, why am I zooming into my face? Hello. This light here is broken. So, about to make some coffee, check it out. I got a blonde roast. Fun fact, blonde roast is actually more caffeinated than dark roast because it goes through a less of a heat process. So the less heat it goes through, the more caffeine it has, which is why cold brew is the most caffeinated coffee there is. Isn't that crazy, guys? You learn new things every day. This is literally only 40 bucks, guys, and you can make espresso shots with it. So that's what I've been doing. I put a filter on here, then I go ahead and put the lid on. It looks like this, and press down. Yeah, I can see I filled it up to this line. Now I'm gonna fill up, <coughs> fill it up with milk all the way to this line. I'm actually gonna put coconut creamer in here. Okay. 
Give it all a good mix and then fill it up with ice and then we are out of here. There you go, guys. Now, let's get out of here. Because I don't want to be late. This is B-O-O-T-D. Not in the best lighting. Sorry, guys. So, I literally just got here. It is 10.57. So, praise God, I am not late. I'm getting better. Usually, I'm late. And I'm not today. And... Yeah, let's go in there and film. I'll make sure to insert some clips in here and maybe the setup. So let's go. Uh, we befriended a drug dealer. Mm. And when we would roll in West Hollywood, it wasn't ever really like planned. Mm -hmm. We saw this guy. We saw this guy. We used to call him uh, eyebrows because he had thick eyebrows. So we would see <laughs> eyebrows. Was it, was it, was it the we see him like, oh my gosh, guys, it's eyebrows. And like we would see him and all my friends would look at each other and be like, man, like I guess we're, we're going to have to roll today because eyebrows is here. <laughs> and every time we saw him, of course, we would buy a pill. And I don't know what he would sell us, but we would split the pill. And it was strong. Like we would roll off like cutting a pill in fours. Mm. So every time we saw him, we would get pills and this was a point in my life right before COVID started. So mm -hmm. this is when it was a, like it was normal to be out and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we were popping pills every weekend, which is not normal. And I remember that after, when I started doing it consistently, I started getting like suicidal thoughts, which is something mm -hmm. I never dealt with. And I even used to think people that dealt with suicide, it was like weird because I had mm -hmm. no understanding about mental health and until I went through this I understood like oh dang like people really deal with this like it's real hey guys we just finished the podcast right now I shared a lot and went very into detail with my testimony I'm right here with Isaac he's the one that interviewed me for using my story so make sure you guys check it out do you want to share anything yeah Isaac? super excited to show this to show Vivian's story mental health alcohol addiction and super inspiring story about how she made it out can't wait for you guys to check it out. Yeah, so make sure you guys tune in. The video should be out in about a week, but I'll link down the channel below. And once I have the video, it'll be in the description box. So make sure you guys check it out. Hey right, guys, so I just finished. Um, so I'm going home now. You guys keep a lookout for that. I really talked about the alcohol side, but I think I'll be coming back for the MDMA side. So it'll be good. And I really encourage you guys to watch it or share it with anyone who's struggling with um, alcohol or drugs but now I need to go home and do a couple of things I gotta clean I want to read I want to pray and just work so I really want to take my YouTube and my social media to the next level because I know this is what God has called me to do but I gotta put the work in and reach as many people as possible with my testimony so we can give God a chance so let's go let's go home and let's go clean and get stuff done I just finished prayer and when I was praying, and I really felt led to even share this too, because, you know, when I pray, sometimes I'm led to share some stuff, sometimes I'm led to not share some stuff, so I really felt led to pray this because I feel like many of you could probably relate to this. One thing that I really felt in prayer was like, man, I remember when I used to pray all the time, I used to ask God to purify my heart, purify my motives, and I would constantly pray that, and I would meditate on that, and just carrying a pure heart, and I feel like somewhere along the way in the business of life i got distracted and i didn't really focus on that and i wasn't guarding my heart like i should be and nothing crazy like i wasn't watching no haunted horror movies or doing some weird stuff nothing like that it's just you know it's very subtle things that could make us not pure i used to feel so much closer to god before and I just thought like, man, because my heart was just so much pure, I was way more consecrated. I would spend way more time in prayer and way more time in the word. Having a pure heart is super important to God. In Psalms 51.10, it says, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. So here David knew that he needed God's help and he needed God's help to have a pure heart. So you can't have a pure heart on your own. You have to ask God for help. You know, David had just sinned and was asking God to cleanse him and make him right before him. In Matthew 5, 8, it says, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. 
Having a pure heart is the key to seeing God and experiencing His presence in our life. When our hearts are pure, we can have a deeper and more meaningful relationship with Him. I really felt like I need to get even more consecrated. And it's not like I'm doing anything crazy, but I'm just thinking, what am I watching on TikTok? What am I seeing on social media? Am I spending too much time watching TV when I should... <gasps> Coffee! No! Yeah, having a pure heart is like so important because if we have a pure heart, it's just so much easier to have a relationship with Him. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. And this is not even to condemn anybody or tell you guys that if you're struggling with sin that you're not going to see God in your life because I've seen God move in my life when I was crazy and I was seeking Him. So, But you do need to ask God for help to purify your heart, purify your motives, purify your intentions. And having a pure heart, it's not like a destination. It's a life journey and it's a constant thing that you need to do. You always have to check your heart, check your motives, check your intentions. Make sure that you're carrying a pure heart in everything that you do because you could be doing something good, but the heart behind it may not be pure. Um, I know growing up, I was very performance driven. So when it comes to ministry and stuff, sometimes my motives can be impure. Like maybe I'm doing it because I think that God will love me more if I do it, which is not the case. That it is not how it works. God's love doesn't, isn't a reflection of our, of what we do for him. We do what we do for him because we love him and we love his people. And that always needs to be the motives, not performance driven. And yeah, that's just a little something I wanted to share, but. Yeah, guys, we need to carry pure hearts and pure motives and pure intentions and just be intentional in our prayer time. And I'm for sure going back to that place where I'm checking my heart constantly because if you go long enough without checking your heart, like you won't even know that your heart's not pure. I really wanted to share that, guys. Um, prayer was good. Right now, I'm actually going to clean up a bit and then I'll probably film another video for you guys and I'm actually going to listen to the word while I do all of this. This is what we got going on in the kitchen. I just separated some dishes. You gotta clean all this up. There's a mess in here, so count down with me, coffee. Clean in five, four, three, two, one. Okay guys, so I actually just finished cleaning. I wanted to show you guys though something really cool. You guys are gonna be shocked that I was showing you my litter box, but you guys need to see how cute it is. Also, look at this artwork. This was done by Layla and this one was done by Jimmy. Look at this. So, you see you're walking into the bathroom and you see a plant, but it's really her litter box and it's been super great. It's a huge litter box. I'll link it down below if you guys want to buy it, if you have a cat. Whole house is clean. That's the air filter I usually put by the bathroom so it won't smell. So there's a room. Just cleaned this area and I'm actually... Um, let's see. I'm actually about to edit this vlog, so that's what I'll be doing right now, but just wanted to show you guys my clean apartment. I love when it's clean. It's literally so satisfying. And yeah, I washed all the dishes, so it's clean, and I have coffee right there. Chillin'. And here's my air filter. I just sprayed some fragrance and it's marking it as red. Having air filters have really helped with having absolutely no smell in here. So if you guys have pets, I totally recommend air filters. I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I'm about to make dinner for me and my husband, but I love you guys so much. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I will go ahead and link down using my story down below. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on that podcast coming up. And that's gonna be it. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. Remember to spend time with him. Read your word and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.